Hi, this is Andy Adams for Canadian Yachting Magazine. I'm at the International Boat Builders Exposition in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm about to talk to John Bartnick about the dry boat system. I think you'll find this interesting. Hi, I'm John Bartnick. I'm developer of uh, the dry boat system. We're here at the IBEC 2013 trade show, and I'd like to show you my uh, process here. Fantastic, let's go. All right, as you can see here, we have two boats. On this side is the old way you would fix the problem that dry boat fixes. You'd have to tear apart the sides, expose the core, cut out the core, or inside the same way, you cut it out. Over here on the decking, you can see there, you had to cut out the core to get at it. You, what happens is when you, when you cut open the core, you lose the molding of the boat, the shape of the boat, and it may never ever be the same after it's repaired. So what we do here at Dry Boat is the same repair. As you can see, we, we inject desert dry air into the boat and we dry that core area. Uh, we can pinpoint the area where it's wet and we drill into those areas. Right here, you can see the, the, the minimal amount of damage we need to do. We can even eliminate this completely if we're able to get at the back side of the, the hall side, and then we wouldn't even have to go into the gel coat. Let's see, over here you can see on the transom, you can dry a transom out with the engine in it instead of pulling it out. A lot of times to fix the transom, you'd have to pull everything out of the engine compartment. Same with the stringers. If you look down there where the tubes are going, they're also going in the stringers. All this is done while the engine is still in the boat. Everything's in place. We either take out very little or leave everything in it. I could bring you over to the other side of the boat, which should be over this way. Just follow me. Here we're illustrating drying out the bottom of the boat. We use a little bit of a smaller hole. Our tips are smaller, less intrusive yet. And we can dry them out this way. Or, like I said earlier, we can go from the inside. We have a access hole here to show you actually drying the, the bolt from the inside and not getting the deck. If you look up in there, go ahead and put that camera up in there and you can see we're actually drying from the inside. I'm not sure if that's showing or not. But that way we do not have to um, do any damage to the, the ducking at all. Um, after all this is dried out, we'd fill it with an epoxy, um, penetrating epoxy, and finish off the holes, and you're all set. And that is our uh, system. Well, that's fantastic. Thanks so much, John. Thank you.